remote that this is the uterus this is the uterus this one this area is that of the uterus the cut off point cut off point is here what is this structure this right bad this is the placenta grade 1 It's, this is the placenta it is, and this portion is the, that of the anterior wall of the uterus and this is the urinary bladder. This area is the urinary bladder. Now why the, the question arises that why this placenta that is with the anterior wall of the uterus is being depressed in this region. See, it should have been straight, going straight. Rather, it from this region, it's curving downwards, making a curve. This is Brexton because of Brexton Hicks contraction. This is what we call as Brexton Hicks contraction because the uterus as well, if you see, should have If there had been no Braxton Hicks contraction, then the uterus would have we would have seen uterus from this interface to this interface. So this would have been the uterus and the placenta. The placenta would have been here going straight because of the curve and now, now as because this is a contraction the uterus is indenting downwards so this is also part of the uterus this is the myomid this is also uterus and <coughs> this is the outer line of the placenta this is this is the interface rest all of this is the uterus and it's because of the should have been here you are seeing downwards this is the myometrial contraction this is called Braxton Hicks contraction this is a Braxton because of the Braxton Hicks contraction, you will see the placenta intending into the amniotic fluid curving. And if it is this a placenta or some other structure for it, the landmark is the chorionic plate. Here you see this thin line that you are seeing is the chorionic plate, the identification mark for the placenta. So we saw the Braxton Hicks contraction, the cervical length is this is the cervix, this, this area is the cervix, cervical length is 3.5 centimeters. And this is the internal closed internal loss. This region is the closed internal loss. Uh, 